Let us understand the concept one by one. What does balance of trade mean? Balance of trade means the difference between values of goods sold by the foreigners to residents and value of goods purchased by them from foreigners. When I say goods sold to foreigners, I am talking about export. And when I say goods purchased by foreigners, I am talking about import. That is what export and import means. Export means selling your goods to foreigners and import means buying goods from foreigners. Under balance of trade, we take into consideration only goods. We are talking about trading in goods. Goods that are tangible, that can be measured, that can be seen or in other words visible. They are visible. So balance of trade is a visible trade. It is a difference. Balance of trade means the difference between export of a country and import of a country. Balance of trade is the difference between export of goods of a country with the import of goods of a country. If export is more and import is less, we have a surplus balance of trade. If exports is more because it means our earnings are more. And imports are less means us expenditures are less. So we have a surplus balance of trade or favorable balance of trade. But in case imports are more than exports, we say it is a deficit balance of trade or there is a shortfall because our expenditure or the money that we are paying to the foreign country that is more and the money that we are getting from the foreign country is less. So this is an unfavorable balance of trade or a deficit balance of trade. So balance of trade is all about a balance between export of goods and imports of goods of a country. Now we'll talk of balance of current account. What does current account mean? Current account means now first and foremost, you do not only trade in goods, you also trade in services and you also trade in or you also deal in unilateral transfers. So when we are talking about foreign transactions, should we not consider these? We are also rendering our services to the foreign countries. So should we not consider those in our accounts? We should and that is why it is included in the balance of current account. Services or unilateral transfers cannot be seen. You cannot see them. You cannot measure them. So you call them as invisible items. But in a current account, along with your visible items, that is the trading of goods, you include these invisible transfers as well. So balance of current account is balance of trade plus balance of services. Services in the field of tourism, uh, hotels, traveling, insurance, all these services are included in this current account. Balance of the services that are rendered and balance of unilateral transfers. Unilateral transfers, we mean the grand grants that are given, the gifts that are given, the donations that are made and most majorly the remittances from abroad. If a person who is Indian working abroad, NRI, sends his money to India, then that is called as a remittance from abroad and that is also included in the unilateral transfers. So in balance of current account, you include these all these three things. You include balance of trade, you include balance of service and you include balance of unilateral transfers. Balance of trade is called as visible earned tradings and balance of services and balance of unilateral transfers are called as invisible items. So 
balance of current account covers these three things. It does not cover borrowings and it does not cover lending. It just covers your tradings in goods and services and your transfer. So it tells us about nation's net income in terms of trade and services from the rest of the world. So balance of current account tells us that how we have traded with the world in terms of goods, services and transfers. How much we have got, how much we have given, this we can come to know by balance of current account. Now what does balance of capital account tell us? Capital account tell us, tells us about the loans and borrowings. The borrowings that we do from the foreign countries or the loans that we give to the borrow, uh, foreign countries. This account is maintained in the capital account. Secondly, the direct investments that are made by foreigners in our country or the direct investments that we make in foreign countries. All these things we talk about in capital account. So capital account is basically transfer of it reflects the net change in ownership of national assets from how your money goes from this country to another country or how the money comes or how the assets come from one country to another country. So this is what capital account tells us. So current account tells us about trading and capital account tells us about the transfer or the loans and borrowings and the investments that are made in a country or the investments that we make in foreign countries. Now, what does balance of payment tells us? Balance of payment constitutes, with, uh, constitutes current account and capital account. The balance of payment is actually a record of all the economic transactions that a country has with the rest of the world. All our economic transactions in the forms of whatever our transactions are, in the forms of goods, services, funds transfer, loans, investments, all these economic transactions, what we are doing and what we are getting with the rest of the world. So it tells us, it, the balance of payment tells you about the economic transaction that a country has with the rest of the world. It is always balance in a bookkeeping sense. A balance of payment is made on the principle of double entry bookkeeping. And in that sense, like in the case of a double entry bookkeeping, it is always balanced. In the same way, a balance of payment of a country is supposed to be always balanced. Now let us try to understand this in a more proper way. How do you make a balance of payment? Like I said, it is made on a basis of double entry bookkeeping. So you show credit on one side and debit on one side, on the other side. The only difference being in the balance of payment, you show credit on the left hand side and you show debit on the right hand side. Whereas it is the opposite way around in the double entry bookkeeping system, in the normal journal system. You can balance of payment is horizontally divided into four sections. It talks about current account. It talks about capital account. It talks about official settlement account. And it takes into consideration the errors and omissions that are to be made. Then we talk about current account. We talk about exports of goods and services. And in debit side, you talk about import of goods and services. Of goods, sorry. When you talk about current account, you talk about exports 
and imports. This is you talking about balance of trade. Then you talk about services that are given and the services that are taken. And then you talk about unilateral transfers that are made to foreign country, made by foreign countries. And here you talk about unilateral transfers that are made to foreign countries. Okay, so in the current account we talk about exports of goods and services on the credit side. We talk about the services that we provide to the other countries and from where the payments are made. And we talk about the unilateral transfers that other people, foreign countries make to us. And in the debit side, you take into consideration the imports, the services that we are taken from the foreign countries and the unilateral transfers that are made. The first two are the export and import are the visible trading goods. And the next two are the invisible trades. When we talk about capital account, we talk about the borrowings, the money that we borrow, we show it as an income, the borrowings that are made by us and the direct investments that are made by foreign countries. And in the debit side, we show the loans that we give and the investments, direct investments that are made to foreign countries. Official settlement account talks about our foreign reserves that what when all this foreign trading takes place we get some foreign income we give some foreign income that is maintained in the official settlement account and in case there are any uh, errors then they are taken care of in the errors and omission system. So this is it balances it in itself and it's called as a balance of payment because it is always in a state of balance. Though generally it is not so, practically it is not so, but still it is said in theoretical point of view that balance of payment is always balanced. One, we do not make balance of payment for every different country, we do not have a different balance of payment. It may be that we may have an unfavorable balance of payment with America because we do a lot of import from America and our exports are less. But it may be that we have a favorable balance of payment with some other South Asian countries. So we take into consideration all that and all the transactions of our country with the rest of the world are taken to give us a clear picture of the balance of payment of our country.